Welcome to Nashville International Airport. We're going to Washington, D.C. to watch the Preds, you guys. Let's do this. In this video today, we're going to do a lot of touring of Washington, D.C. So this is going to be like the monuments, the museums, that stuff that you're going to see that you can do on your trip to watch a hockey game in Washington, D.C. So that's what this video is going to be. Let's do it. So this video is going to probably be a couple days. So we're leaving on a Thursday. We're coming back on a Saturday. This video, I think, is going to cover like some brief tourist things from today, tomorrow, and Saturday, and it'll also cover like where we're staying and things like that. Is there like one thing that you're excited for touring? All of it. Never experienced DC. Excited. It's gonna be just wild, and I haven't been in a long time, so it'll be good to go check a lot of it out. So uh, let's go tour and watch the Preds. Okay. <laughs> We're at the Washington Marriott Metro Center. Here we go. We chose this hotel, uh, the Washington Marriott Metro Center, because it's close to the Metro, it's close to Capital One Arena, it's close to all the Smithsonian's, all that stuff. Uh, honestly, it's been good check-in experience, good, nice lobby. Uh, our room is nice, check it out. It comes with an Amelia. Of course, you know, you just have a bathroom. It's pretty normal, like it's just, oh, that light just turned out because I hit the button. It's like a normal hotel room, right? So like, you have everything you could need and want. Uh, it feels like very, very like almost like old school and executive, which is exactly what you want out of DC, right? Like, I don't know, maybe you don't. Um, but anyways, unfortunately we do have construction out our window right now, but we do have a window. Oh, and we have this couch. Look at that, just settling in for a nice nap. It's now time to head out and do some touring. So let's roll. Definitely gonna grab lunch first though. That's probably a priority. Hotel and Capital One Arena down there. So like literally just down the street. Dorito woman. Our first stop is gonna be the National Archives of the United States of America. It's right here. We're about to get there. National Archives, look at this. So we just left. They have a very strict, no pictures, no videos policy in there. And like, it was, it was wild. Like laying eyes on things like, actual Thomas Jefferson signatures and writings and just like those men who did that just unbelievable and so much more just amazing stuff there in the archives uh that was really cool I think we're gonna have the natural history museum now um which should also be interesting I don't know if they have a no photo policy in there I'm sure they don't but pretty cool natural history time here we go whoa an elephant Speaking of the uh, Nashville Predators, look at that, a saber-toothed tiger. How cool is that? You know what? Mustard cat looks the most like that. Forever. Whoa. Oh, look at the size of that neck. Whoa. Check out this upper view. We're about to go see the Hope Diamond. Whoa. Wow. All of these sparkly rocks are just incredible. Like, I don't believe that some of them are real, even though I know they are. It's wild. Winnie the Pooh. What's up, bro? This is just a brown bear. What does a grizzly bear look like? That thing's massive. The Museum of Natural History was just incredible. Let's go, let's go skate. Is there a skating rink? Oh, look at that. We should go skate. And now we're headed to a capital tour, which should be awesome. Okay, this has been quite a walk. So the Metro is definitely how we're getting back. Here we are, man. The capital of the United States. Time for a tour. It's a bummer that's behind Scrum. Yeah, 
You think the Washington Capitals play there? No, they play Capital One. That was a dumb comment. Don't ever listen to me ever again. Ah, the capital. The United States of America. Here we are. This is awesome. We are going to be here in the capital today. This is exciting. This is cool. Love it. So, this starts out with a little video. And then we're gonna go into the capital. Got this going, baby. <laughs> Interesting. John Adams and Thomas Jefferson came in here. But in 1814, the British Army is actually gonna walk through that door as well. When they come, they set fire to the building. Only the second piece of federal legislation to ever be overruled by the Supreme Court. But much worse and more notorious. I won't lie, that tour was so cool. Capitol's a neat building, and uh, seeing some of the parts of it, it was just like, wow, also there it is behind me. It's just wild. That's why you come to hockey games in DC, because you get to do that type of stuff. It's pretty cool. Wow, here we go. This is exciting. We're on the metro system. back at the hotel we got up early so we're gonna take a little bit of a break and then we are going to head to dinner and then the next thing you'll see in the video is touring tomorrow as well so it's been great tonight the dinner we are going to is capitol grill it's here in washington dc it is over towards um the national archives kind of in between there and capital one arena it's like 0.8 miles from the hotel it is a a nicer location and so it's what someone in our travel party is their birthday so we're going to celebrate them but if you're in the mood to treat yourself when you're on vacation here to washington dc uh, we're going to test it out and see if it is a good place to eat especially if you're coming to a hockey game and you're here for a couple days you're like you know what one night we're going to have a good meal and the next night we're going to eat game food so i won't do like a lot of recording at the restaurant i might like take a picture or video of my food and then and throw it in here so you can see it and then i'll give a review once we get back whoa we just got back from dinner at the capitol grill and goodness gracious that was one of the best meals i've ever had the steak was perfectly done um, the lobster mac and cheese was the best mac and cheese I've ever had. And then we had a fried okra. And that fried okra was, or not fried okra. What type of okra was it? Was it fried? It was not okra, it was Brussels sprouts. And then we had a Brussels sprouts. And, and I will tell you this, I cut into the Brussels sprout and took a bite. And when I tell you, I exclaimed in joy because of how good it was. It was unbelievable. It was so good. That was shocking. And then the mashed potatoes were delectable. We had desserts, so they had a great cheesecake that was unbelievable. They had a really good coconut cream pie. The coconut cream pie was the best coconut cream pie I've ever had. It was out of this world good. And then I got a cup of coffee and I drink my coffee black, just nothing in it. And it was one of the best cups of coffee I've ever had. Though so Capital Grill, definitely worth checking out. Super incredible food great service, top-notch experience, loved every second of it. We'll definitely go back. And if you're in town for a game, I recommend trying to go to it. And there are a few other restaurants called like the Capitol Grill isn't just a DC thing. There are a few of them. You can probably find them other places as well. One of the best meals ever, definitely worth checking out. And also that's going to do it for today. We are going to pick up the touring tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a monument day. We're going to check out the Holocaust Museum um, and the Air and Space Museum. Uh, and then we'll go to the game tomorrow night. And so the game vlog will be separate but then the all the touring stuff is in this one and you'll see a little bit of game later in this video so see you tomorrow for touring 
we're back. It's the next day and we're about to start our tour. First thing we're going to go do is grab breakfast and then we're headed to the monument. So let's go. Breakfast. About to hop in the metro. Huge. We were gonna do all the monuments this morning, but the problem became it's really cold. So we're gonna wait for it to warm up a little bit and then do monuments. Uh, we're gonna a warm place and then we're going to, uh, the first thing we'll do is the Holocaust Museum. All right, so it was so cold. We kind of hung out in the Starbucks for a little bit. We're now walking to the Holocaust Museum. Now I wanna say this. We are not going, I'm not going to show anything in there. Um, I'm going to respect what that event was. I'm going to go in. It's a very emotional thing. I've, I've done it in my past. And I just don't want to disrespect what that event was by taking a camera in there. So I'm not going to show anything in there. Um, but that's what we're doing. We are in the Metro station to head to lunch. I will say this, the Holocaust Museum is humbling. Um, it is life-changing. If you ever get the opportunity, walk through it, read it. Um, that was so recent. And man, there were evil things happening. And it really puts life in perspective. We're headed to lunch, but there's Ford Theater right there. Wow. And there's Capital One Arena. So that's, uh, it's exciting. We'll be there tonight. Okay, so we just finished lunch. We are headed to Air and Space Museum. This will be our final museum uh, for the day before the game. We're gonna go check that out. We're gonna walk down there. All right, look at this. Amelia, what do you think of that view? It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's Heath's type of flying right there, right? Oh, yeah. You can't. No, just kidding. This is absolutely insane. This was the original. I mean, this airplane flew. This is the first thing that ever flew. Wow. This is so cool. So, so cool. United Airlines, you know, United Center, which is where the Blackhawks play for my hockey fans out there. I'm a big Star Wars guy, so I'll take this X Wing right here. This is my plane. We are back in the Metro system. We're going to head back to the hotel and get ready to go to the game nice. Boy, the lighting in here is actually incredible for camera. <laughs> McLarens are cool. All right, the next amount of footage you're gonna see are just a couple clips from the Preds Washington Capitals game because we went to that game tonight. So check out what we saw tonight. Hey, by the way, you're in the middle of the touring video right now, but I'm currently at the hockey game. So if you haven't watched this video yet, go check out the Reds Washington game, right? We walked over. Yeah, that's that's what we're doing right now. Wow, what a goal. He just dangled in and scored. Yeah, this is incredible. This was an intermission incident. All right, so here's what you need to do. If you haven't already watched that video, go ahead and watch that video. That was a really fun game. Tomorrow morning, Lord willing, we're gonna wake up and we are going to go to Arlington National Cemetery. Melia's never been, I have been a couple of times and it has been one of the most special things I've ever been to, ever. Very moving. And then we hope to go to the monuments we didn't get to today because it was very cold. And so hopefully we get to do that tomorrow. So Lord willing, we will get to do all of that and we will see you in the morning. Welcome to our final morning of touring 
Uh, we've been blessed with another day, and so we're gonna head to Arlington National Cemetery and then to the monument. So let's go check this stuff out. When you're at Metro Center, you just come to the stations to get to wherever you need to go. And literally we're gonna pop on a train ride five stops and be at Arlington. I just saw the changing of the guard at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier, and that was that was pretty cool. It's always special to see that. I recommend it. It is very like I was not. I don't know. It's a sombering place to come here. That's for sure. Headed back down to the metro to go towards the monuments. Here we go right after the reveal. Boom, Washington Monument and the Smithsonian. Wow. Running party. Look at this. Ah, the monuments. We saw this guy yesterday, but now it's sunny, so it's way prettier. Dun, dun, dun. We have Amelia and the Washington Monument. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We're at the World War II Memorial. It's not on, the fountains are not on, but really cool. Actually, I just took a picture um, with the pillar that says Philippines because in World War II, my grandfather was stationed in the Philippines. So that's a pretty cool, pretty cool thing for me um, to get to see. And then when you turn this way, Helicopter was so low over there. <laughs> Ouch. I said this one won't degrade because it's made of real rocks instead of concrete. Wow, 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 wow. Photo time. We are now walking over to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial. Um, once again, I'm not gonna take much video over here, just out of respect for them, uh, those who are on the wall. We now are at the Korean Memorial. This is beautiful. Right, we are gonna close out our touring Washington DC video because we're about to head back to the hotel um, and then get ready to go board 
our flight. But I will tell you this, this city is unbelievable and we didn't even probably scratch the surface of all the things that you can see and do in this city. So if you're gonna come here for a hockey game, make it a trip. Make it a time to not just come see a game, but to come tour the city because there really is so many amazing things that you can do in the city. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you next time.